Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today it could be the start of the greatest movie of all time or it could just be a video on how to tie a surfboard leash string to your surfboard and then attach your leash. Right, we best get cracking. Whoosh. It's really important that you don't have your leash string too long like this one because in a big wipeout that can put pressure on your board and damage the end of your board. If you buy a new leash or a new surfboard you will get a parachute string tie with it and it will tend to be about 10 inches long. So make sure the ends are at the same level and then what you're doing is you're just tying a knot so just fold it over itself, push it through the loop and pull it tight. Now we can adjust this later on if this string is too long and damaging the tail of your surfboard. It's a good idea to seal the ends just so they don't fray and you can just do this with a lighter or some matches. And make sure you don't try and do this on a windy day like today. So I've got a good seal on the end of those. Now what you do is you thread the loop end into your tail underneath the bar just push it through if it doesn't slide through nice and easily just take a small screwdriver or your fin key and just gently push it through and then pull it with your fingers whilst I'm doing that there's a link above now about how to de-wax your surfboard for free so it goes under that bar there and then what you do is you just push it back through itself over the knot then pull the knot upwards and that is now secure around that bar. Now we've put the knot in here but actually this one is still a little bit too long because in a big wipeout there can be a lot of pressure on that string and it can damage the tail of your surfboard and on your leash you will have a rail saver. So I'm just going to adjust this knot here and just move it slightly further down then take your leash, thread it through and make sure the knot is central inside the leash before we fold it over. That's really important so that when there's any pressure on that leash tie that it's uniform and the pressure is the same on each side of the string. So just put the knot in the middle, fold the velcro over Talking of Velcro, have you seen the price of Velcro lately? What a rip-off. <laughs> Fold the other bits over. Whilst I'm doing that, there's a link above now about how to dry your wetsuit boots super fast. And then the final bit of security. And as you can see there, we've got a nice uniform pressure on each side of the string. and the rail saver is doing its job so we haven't got the leash tie rubbing against the tail of the board. Now it's just a question of which board should I take out surfing? My Robert August longboard? Oh! My mid shred Shibui thruster? Or my short retro 80s board? Single fin. All of them absolute beauties. I think I'll decide when I get there. Make sure I've got everything ready, key pod, money for the parking, sun cream, Vaseline and surf comb. And I hope you enjoy my Point Break skit. Greatest film of all time. Whoosh. Experts are saying this could be one of the worst storms in England's history. Heavy rains will continue into the night with destructive winds reaching up to 100 miles per hour. Anybody been out there? No one's been out, no one's going out. It's gotta be crazy, man. Death on a stick out there, mate. Get him when he comes back here. Coming back.